All right, uh, welcome to our new little series here, where we're checking out the old classic systems. And I guess technically they're more of the newer classic systems, uh, considering they're miniature and just uh, came out in the period between 2017 and 2020. Now, uh, for this series, I'm going to be going in what they consider chronological order. If it were up to me, I'd be starting this uh, thing off with either Super Mario Brothers or Legend of Zelda. But, uh, it's how they said it, so we're going to be rolling with that. And as a bonus, I really didn't know what to do for setting-wise for this, so uh, either I was going to either do it incredibly retro with the CRT filter, but yeah, just uh, keep it good on uh, everybody's eyes. I'll keep it on pixel perfect. Alright, before we begin uh, with Excite Bike, which, you know, we'll just uh, go through and see what we got here. We got Excite Bike, Ice Climbers, Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Jr., Mario Bros., Balloon Fight, Ghosts and Goblins, very difficult game as a heads up, Gradius, not as difficult, Castlevania, yeah, it has its moments, Get Icarus, Metroid, Legend of Zelda, the original, <laughs> uh, Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream, they could not get Mike Tyson for this, uh, Galaga, Super Mario Bros. 2, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Simon's Quest, all right, game. Depending on your outlook, Zelda 2: The Adventure of Link. Not as good as the original, I can honestly say. Tecmo Bowl, Ninja Gaiden. Another difficult game. Mega Man 2. Pretty good one. Double Dragon 2. Super Mario Bros. 3. Probably the best NES game of all time. Super C. The original Final Fantasy. Doctor Mario. Star Tropics which was made by Mattel, of all people. <laughs> Surprisingly good game. Uh, Kirby's Adventure, and finally, ironically enough, is one of the first games, Pac-Man, which is, surprisingly, the last one we're doing. <laughs> How's that for irony? But let's lead it off with Excite Bike. Now, since a lot of these games are going to be arcade games, uh, I'll just cover uh, about maybe 10 minutes of uh, each of these as a heads up. So, Any others, uh, we'll continue on and branch into other series. But, in the meantime, let's get started. You gotta love the little techno music they do for a motocross game. Alright. Where better to go than number one, right? Alright. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. It has its own exciting moments here, people. Hmm. And hopefully I can actually beat this uh, in the time it takes. Actually, yeah, I did a test run on this game yesterday, and... Well, I came in pretty good time, but... That's because I was just kind of screwing around, so... Oh. Alright. I think we'll make it still. We can only hope, right? Oh. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to do a flip or something, but... I was only uh, partly experimenting on this game before, so... <laughs> well, a minute and seven seconds, that's not so bad. Alright, uh... Definitely a lot better than yesterday. Alright. Alright, next track. Actually doing pretty good with these, huh? Right here. Oh. Okay, I guess I spoke too soon. I do love how they made this into a Mario Kart 8 uh, course uh, later on. The fact that they touch on the nostalgia here. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if I can make it in time. I have 
have my doubts this time with all the mud. And what the amount of times I crash. I'm not going to make it. Okay, come on. Lucky break. I made it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Okay, I know this is going to get slightly harder as it goes on, but uh, I gotta feel good right now. I just gotta feel good about that. Interesting seeing a night course. And with the giant. Okay, I'm not gonna make the time this time. Delray won this one last night. Hopefully I can make it in time. Oh, 43 seconds. That's not so bad. Okay, I seriously have my doubts. <laughs> oh, God. few seconds. I'm not good. Oh, I made it. What do you know? Is it good enough for... Oh. No. Well, at least it was close, so... I can't be too upset about that. A minute ten. Okay, I can do a little now. Alright, here we go. I've had to use realistic physics for an engine like this. And they have bars now. Oh boy. Okay. Oh god. As many trips as I do in this game, I. It definitely kind of makes me glad I didn't take a motocross when I was a kid. Very interesting sport, but... Oh, God. I'd probably end up... Like that. A lot. Oh, God. I am not going to beat the record this time. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm screwed. <sighs> this makes me glad Excite Bite for the Nintendo 60 War wasn't this brutal. It was a challenge, but it was something else. It's also nice that they had it on uh, the Nintendo 64 uh, where you can actually play the original. Kept it as interesting as the soccer mode on it. Oh god, a minute 35. That is... <sighs> oh. Ranking 12. Where's the margins here? It just didn't make sense. Well, at least it's an interesting game. And, uh, I can honestly say, yeah, definitely has playability. And it's auto-doing it itself here. So. Alright. <clears throat> For anyone who enjoys motocross, I recommend this game. In the early days of racing, it definitely doesn't beat out Mario Kart, but it is definitely a good game. So, yeah, I I think I'd recommend it uh, if I was uh, playing this in back in the day. So, all right, glad everyone enjoys this. If you enjoy this, like and subscribe. 
and we're going to be continuing the series. All right. Bye-bye.